Here are the tests on my 1990 American Standard Cadet. Here is the logo for the first time. It was covered by some sort of bidet attachment when I got it. It's set to the water line in here. And this flapper is pretty much the same as the original would have been except it's a different color and a different brand. And I did have to replace the tank bolts. As you can see, they're much nicer than they were in the original video. Although this one was still nice, the other one wasn't, and like I showed before, it dripped like crazy. So, there's also some glaze damage in the bowl from where they scrubbed it with steel wool or something like that, so hopefully that won't affect the performance all the way up there. But let's give it a flush and do some tests. It's got a pretty nice flush. I prefer my gray one though. I'm going to add some water to the bowl and then I'll try a washcloth. Unless there is something like a toothbrush or some sort of razor blade or toilet cleaner in it, I'm 100% sure it'll pass it. I just have to wait for the tank to fill up. That should do it. Let's see if it can take a washcloth. That was a perfect pass. If you look back, it looked like it struggled, but that's just because it still had to fill the bowl up a little bit and it was already at the trapway opening before it started siphoning. So it looked like it struggled, but it actually didn't. Now let's try a grocery bag. I'm pretty sure this will pass as well. I must say this is the one thing I prefer about the 1.6 gallon toilets is I don't have to wait for the tank to fill up. So I'll be right back. That should be good. Let's try a grocery bag. did great. Now I don't actually know if the trapway is glazed or not. It doesn't feel like it. I'm going to see if it is from the bottom. No, it's not glazed. And since it did so well on that, I am going to test them both at the same time. Alright, the tank is actually almost full, but not full enough that I want to make you guys wait. So I'll be right back. There we go. Now let's see if it can take a washcloth and a grocery bag together. Well, the stuff definitely put up a fight, but the toilet wins. A slight struggling pass. So now, let's try a dish towel. And I'll be right back when the tank is full. That should do it. So let's try a dish towel now. I think I might actually need to add a little bit more water to it. There we go. Now let's try a dish towel. I think this will I think it'll take it.
That appears to have done perfectly. I'm gonna add some water into the bowl and then I'll do a dirt test. And since it's just been raining, the dirt is wet. As you can see, it's not the dust like usual. It appears that the flapper is leaking I don't know what's up with that, but it shouldn't matter too much. Now let's let that tank fill up, and I'll be right back. That's good. Now let's give it a flush and see how it does on dirt. And I didn't put a bin under it this time, but I'll just clean it up. I must say I'm disappointed. I think it left some of the sand in here. Yeah, there's a good chunks of stuff from the dirt down there because it has sort of the, the wall trapway that goes straight up and then around. So the dirt all gets stuck at the bottom here at the lowest point. So that is the weakness of this toilet. It does not like sand or dirt. But overall, I'd say it did pretty well on these tests. Just didn't do too well on the dirt. The bull rinse seems to be pretty good. There are a couple spots right there. But overall, the bull rinse is very, very good. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot, and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.